Hello, I'm Wolfram Tanner, the product manager for the DTEM core. I want to show you how to set up a multi-sided access protection. We need a DTEM sender and receiver pair. We need the brackets for mounting the DTEM in the column. We need an alignment aid with a laser. And we need three Allen keys for adjusting the screws. Now we bring electric power on the system. The status indicator is red. The alignment LEDs are off. That means we have to align the system now. The system has to be aligned beam by beam, starting with the bottom beam. We use the AR60 as a laser alignment aid. Place the RR60 on the first beam and turn it on. Level the column and then fix the column on the floor. Turn the sender by using the alignment tool and make a fine adjustment for the horizontal positioning of the laser beam until the laser beam hits the mirror of the mirror column. You have already seen that I have used a self-made target for helping to find the position of the laser beam. I remove this now and place it on the next column. I place the target here. Go back to the first mirror column and do the fine adjustment of the mirror. There are three screws. If you turn them in the right way, the laser beam will then exactly hit again the middle of the other column. Adjust the mirror by turning the screws until the laser hits the middle of the second mirror. The DTEM sender is now well aligned. The column can be fixed on the floor and the brackets can also be closed. Now it is time to remove the RR60 from the sender and place it on the receiver side. From now on all alignments will be done from the receiver side. Same as for the sender, we also do now the fine alignment for the receiver by using the alignment tool. And by adjusting the column. The receiver is well aligned when the laser beam hits the center of the mirror in the second mirror column. The target can then be removed and placed on the mirror on the first mirror column so we can adjust the mirror on the second mirror column. Turn the screws until the laser beam hits the center of the other mirror. Sender, receiver and the two mirrors for the uh, bottom beam are now well aligned. We can continue with the second level. For this we move up the laser alignment aid and place it on the second beam. Now it is more or less the same procedure as we had it with the first beam. But we forget completely about the first beam now. We adjust the second beam, fine adjustment of the receiver until the laser hits the mirror of the second column. Then we adjust the mirror on the second column until the beam hits the mirror on the first column. And then we adjust the mirror of the first column until he hits the sender perfectly. After the second beam is aligned, repeat the whole procedure for the third beam now. 
Also, for the adjustment of the mirror in the first uh, mirror column, you can use the target, place it on the sender, and then make your adjustment. Once all adjustments are done, fix the brackets and remove the laser alignment aid. If your adjustment was good, you have a result of four blue LEDs indicating a perfect alignment and you have the system on green. If you follow the instruction that I just gave you, you will always bring the system on green.